Scientists have hailed a powerful new combination of drugs which has been described as a once-in-a-generation advance for cancer treatment. The drugs, which use the body's own immune system to attack cancerous cells, shrunk more than half of patients' advanced melanoma tumours. But, as our health correspondent Thomas Moore explains, the treatment won't be cheap. Once melanoma skin cancer begins to spread, the outlook for most patients is poor. But Pam Smith's cancer is on the retreat. Since starting treatment with an experimental combination of drugs, the secondary tumour in a muscle behind her bowel has halved in size. And she's feeling positive. The last sort of scans that I had, of, that was back in April, and they've come back stable. They've been stable ever since about September last year. And... Originally, the SUAS muscle tumour one was nine millimetres and it's gone down to four millimetres. So, yeah, it'll probably always still be there, but, you know, it's shrunk. It's shrunk. It, it done what it said. Circulating antigen presenting cells collect these tumour antigens and present them to activate T cells. The combination of two drugs, ipilimumab and nivolumab, targets the invisibility cloak that many cancers use to hide from the immune system. With the tumour unveiled, immune cells recognise the threat and move in for the kill. In a new study of patients with advanced melanoma, more than half the tumours shrank or stopped growing. And scans of a patient with advanced lung cancer reveal how the tumour almost melted away in response to the drugs. The study selected for ASCO's prestigious plenary Speaking from a cancer conference in Chicago, one British doctor described the breakthrough as the most exciting of his career. If we understand who to give them to, we can give the right drugs to the right people at the right time with the right tumour and really dramatically increase the cure rate. And if we can't cure people, we'll increase the proportion of people living with cancer as opposed to dying from it. But ipilimumab alone costs £75,000 for a year's treatment. The price of the other drug has yet to be set. One health think tank warns the cost of new cancer drugs is so high it sucks NHS money away from other diseases. One in two of us will end up getting cancer. So we simply actually cannot afford to pay for all these drugs if we go on paying you know, hundreds of thousands of pounds for end of life cancer drugs. So that's why we're calling for a public debate about what we spend the money on and what our priorities should be. But doctors have hailed immunotherapy as the start of a new era in cancer treatment. It could even replace orthodox chemotherapy with all its toxic side effects within five years. Thomas Moore, Sky News. More now on what's being described as a major breakthrough in cancer treatment, with experts saying trials of a powerful new combination of drugs have achieved spectacular results. The drugs make the body's own immune system attack cancerous cells. Sky News spoke to Dr Jed Wolchok, chief medical oncologist at New York's Memorial Sloan Kettering Cancer Center, who's attending a cancer conference in Chicago. I was extremely gratified to see these results because, uh, of course, it meant a significant step forward for our patients, uh, but also because it meant confirmation of uh, smaller trial observations that um, my group and others made over the past two or three years. The particular difference in this trial was the uh, inclusion of a group of patients who received two different immunotherapies together. Um, each, of the, each of the individual treatments is currently available either as a standard therapy or um, as an experimental uh, therapy, but the combination is only available um, you know, at, in terms of a clinical trial at the moment. Um, so the particular combination um, tries to get the immune system activated by removing two molecular breaks that prevent the immune system from um, seeing and responding to cancer in a full manner. I think what this shows us is that uh, depending upon the particular characteristics of the patient's tumor, um, you know, uh, up to 72% of patients could have a significant regression with the use of the combination therapy. Um, we also saw that um, in some subsets, um, the median time to the tumor growing was um, 14 months, um, which is quite striking because just five years ago, the average life expectancy for a patient with metastatic melanoma was seven months. So now we're talking about 
14 months, um, you know, median time to when the cancer might start to grow again. I think we should be quite excited about this. Um, this represents a very significant um, step forward in our quest to develop better treatments for melanoma, um, which, as I said before, just five years ago, the median survival was seven months. Um, and now we're really seeing very different sort of numbers, which gives tremendous hope to patients with this disease. And, and further, um, importantly, treatments like this are showing activity in diseases other than melanoma. So what we learned studying this disease uh, we hope to apply uh, widely to many different kinds of cancer.